Hello, what's up you guys? This is Mamad Sajid Hassan, you watching Thincoder. So here in this video, I'm going to be talking with about how you can create this type of slider in your desktop or in your website that whatever you want. How you can do it to know about that you need to watch this video from the first to the last. Before starting this video, there are a request. If you're not already the subscriber of my channel, then please subscribe. And if you do so still now, so thanks a lot. Start my this video with me. So in this case, I just open my this browser and here I need to search something like STELLAR, Stellar JS. This is a JS by which you can create this type of parallax. So here you need to find here like Stellar.js and here you can see this is. Go to on this Stellar.js, this website and here guys now you can see here they have some more parallaxes for you. So here also you will get a demo documentation and the download so first of all we will download this stellar.js from here and after that here we will use it so go to on this code to download the zip from here and here it's just downloaded now open it and here you can see your stellar.js is here so here you can see your stellar.js master and here you can see all the files are here right now so from here we will start our work to do this so go to the down to the blue and here we will create a folder and I just make it as a parallax so here it is now, and here we need this file from here so go to on this lives and go to the jQuery and here from you will get three jQuery library files from here among these three you need to choose this or you can choose this one too whatever you want but in my case I just choose this 2.0.2 .2. this is the thing so just drag this because here guys this parallax.js is only work with this selected JS library otherwise it wouldn't work so here guys now I need to go to the back from here uh, go to there and here go to the back and go to down this src and here you will get this jquery stellar.js this is and drag it to here that's all now I need it to work here so here we will now make this file from here go to on this edit with notepad plus plus and I just open my this so here I just take my HTML markup so make it as a parallax now here we will link up our some CSS styles like link.css and here this is my style.css from here you can see this is my style.css and here we will add my script a script script as src and here the script jquery library first of all javascript library file I will connect here and then I just open it and here you can see this is my J javascript library file so now we will connect our jquery stellar.js right here after this jquery as this jquery stellar.js is not work with jquery 3 uh, other selected so here they make some selected library files by which it works so you need to use this among jquery 1.4.3 or jquery 1.10.0 or this jquery 2.0.2 and now we will add our this script.js from here too so in this case I just add this uh, script.js now my everything is complete now it's ready to work with me so uh, in this case here I just take it and here we will add some images too from here so that it will work here so here from I just take those two images from here to work it and here we will add some div here like this div and here I just add it as a class and here add the class as a parallax so here we also add another class this is the first I just take this class as my wish so you can also do it as you wish so I just take it as a second and here I can also take it as a third T H I R E T. so it's started here now we will add our this style sheet here to stylize something 
So first of all, make this body as a margin zero or here from I just make it as a star margin zero. That means it will reduce all the margin from every element, make the padding also. I hope you all know about those. I don't want to make some more explanation about this. So here the common class, I just take this as a parallax and here you can do any class with this. As you wish, you can take classes. So here this parallax class and I just make it as a height of, uh, I just take it the 100 view height and here it's all now make it as a background as a FFFF okay and now you can once you run this with a JavaScript or this index.html file that time you can see it works here they have nothing but here our work will be started from here so here in this case in the first i want to make it as a parallax so take this class from here so that it will only work with this class too so here this is the first class so here we will add an image as a background with which image we want to make it as a parallax like this here from i want to use this image so here i just want to add this image as a background image and here i want to link up this image here so that it will work here as a parallax so here if you want to add it as an element that time it will not work so for that here you need to use it as a background image now make this as a background size as a cover it's okay now here from if you just refresh it here you can see the image is here but it's not as a parallax we need to make it as a parallax so how so for here i need to go to on this here just go to the back from here and here you can see here have some classes are here by which it will work so go to on these docs and here you will get those things so here you can see it for example window stellar or this is the ID stellar you can use it just copy this and here I will just open my this script.js where I will add my all other JavaScript files or JavaScript course here I just complete it prepare it to so that it will work uh, you can see TIO1 okay ready function is applied and here we will add this code here which I just copied from here main stellar and here you can see they have a class they have an id but i want to add these here like that parallax first both class or you can only add this class only is if you want so i just add this class here and here it's all but still now it will not work here you can see after just refreshing it it will not work here we need to add some more things here like that here go to the down to the below and here you can see they have data stellar background ratio you need to just copy this attribute by this attribute it will work so in which div element you want to make it work on this element just paste this data stellar background ratio as a 0.5 now it will work so just refresh it and here you can see it doesn't work right now because or here if it doesn't work that time here you can do another thing is that here from just take it as a dollar dot stellar dollar dot stellar it will it must have to work here like that dollar dot stellar ready function is applied so here from I just take it and here you can see it works like that and here once it is finished that time it just repeat your background by this they just create your own but here you can also do other things like here from you can just make the background as a position background position as a bottom left bottom left and here you can see but here it will not work here so for that reason here i want to make it as a top left so that it will work perfectly in every cases so here now by this it will work here and here if you want to use it as a perfectly that time here what you have to do i always recommend this 
thing as a make this void as a auto and make this uh, image background size as a height as a 200 pixel so that it will work perfectly now here you can see it works like that or make it as a 150 percent so that it become some more smaller like this and here you can see it works and by this way now you can also add those things in your website parallax and make a parallax for yourself and this will work for you now guys it's your turn guys after watching this video whatever you feeling is that whether it works or not and can you handle it or not guys if you feel that it's really working for you that time i request you please give a like that video comment me below on this video share this video with your friends so guys no more today we will meet in the next video so till the end take care have a nice day